Hello and welcome to another Incarnate tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to upload custom art that includes stamps and textures. First, where do we locate the upload button? We're going to start with textures first. So you go to the brush tool and press B. Then you press F or open the catalog by clicking this or the open catalog button. Now immediately you're going to see on the left panel that there is the upload button. This is going to allow you to upload your custom textures. But first, let's go ahead and review custom assets. Now, if you don't have any custom assets whatsoever, this toggle will not show up. But if you do, then it will show up. And you can see that there is a whole host of custom textures that I have. Let's go over some options for that. You can rename or select multiple or delete. So if I wanted to rename something, I would just call it rename. That will show up. Next, if I want to select multiple stamps, I can do that and I can just clear the selection or I can delete all selected. So I can just delete them if I wanted. It's going to ask, are you sure you want to do that? And those three get deleted. Now let's go ahead and upload a custom texture. And you're going to upload. It's going to ask you to choose images or files from your computer. I've got this temp map right here. I'm just going to go ahead and upload that. Press OK. Now all textures and stamps are going to render at 8K or are going to be uploaded at 8K. You're going to see that there's the title here and there's going to be a preview scale. This is just for a preview only. Resizing and adjusting the texture is done in the advanced settings. We'll get to that shortly. And this is just a preview opacity. Now you're going to go ahead and save the texture. Now once you open it up, you'll see it right here. I'm going to click it. Now if I was up to apply it, Let's go like this, like this, and it's the largest way to fill up with the texture. You're going to see that it's tiled, right? Well, you don't want that. So instead, you want to click Advanced Settings. You're going to go to Size. I'm going to size it to where I want it to be. And there's also a rotation if I want to rotate it. And there's the offset, moving it left or right or up and down. And then if I just press Enter, there's the texture right there. Now let's go over to the stamp tool and do custom stamps. I'm going to open the catalog. I'm going to upload, choose image file, pick that temp map again, click open. Again, you're going to see the preview scale and opacity. I'm going to save the stamp. And you're going to see it on the screen, but I'm going to go ahead and make it larger and line it up with this. Put it right there and there's the stamp. Now let's say that you have a hand-drawn map like this and you want to scan it and then put it into the computer. First, let's go ahead and make the background gray. Get rid of this or whatever color you want to use. It can be blue. It doesn't matter. We'll go with blue for now. Now I want to take my custom stamp. Now I want to actually use this as a guide and I recommend you do it as a stamp and not a texture. And I'll explain why that is. First place the stamp. Now when you're going to want to drop the opacity so you can see it. And then you want to want to lock it because what you're going to want to do is you're going to use this as a guide and you're going to trace over it with the add mode of the mask tool. And this way, and you can start whatever brush size you want, but you just go ahead and just fill it in like this. And you're going to do this to the whole thing because you're just using this as a guide. It's okay to go over the lines because it's just a guide. I'm just going to fill in this entire landmass real quick. And then from there, you would add your stamps and your textures. So there's my landmass. You do the same thing to this one and this one, and then you add your mountains and your forests with trees and some symbols for points of interest. And that's it. Well, I really hope that you found this tutorial helpful. Please leave comments in the comments below for future tutorials, because we're always looking for new material and what you guys are looking for, what you want and what you need for your campaigns. Please click a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Merry Map Making.